my other videos, we talked about the structure of a legal services board. We also talked about who could be admitted to practice Kim Allen's law. In this video, we'll go through some of the restrictions on practice. One of the considerations in issuing a practice certificate is having in mind the total number of practice certificates issued overseas in other jurisdictions compared to the total practice certificates that are issued to firms within the Cayman Islands. The restriction is that the total number that are issued overseas cannot exceed the total number that's issued in Cayman. Basically, we can't have more qualified persons practicing Cayman Islands law outside Cayman than are practicing inside Cayman. I believe that this can be improved. What we should be doing is looking at the ratio of certificates issued overseas compared to that issued in Cayman. For example, if we just look at the numbers, we could have a thousand legal practice certificates issued overseas and a thousand and one issued in Cayman. That still means we have a significant number of people practicing Cayman Islands law overseas. So my suggestion is we have a ratio, for example, for every one legal, legal certificate that we issued overseas, we issue two in the Cayman Islands. By maintaining the ratio, we maintain a level playing field. Another thing that affects the level playing field for Cayman Island lawyers is the fact that there's an item on the legal services bill that's not considered to be the practice of Cayman law. More specifically, there's a definition that says that a person who is an attorney practicing law in a different jurisdiction, that is, practicing non-Cayman law in a different jurisdiction, can draft documents and draft instruments as long as those instruments and documents are signed off by a Cayman Islands lawyer. In practice, this happens frequently, and that person bills the client a lump sum, gets his share of the fee for preparing Cayman documents, but the Cayman law firm then signs off on them. And I only know this because I've been involved in a few transactions where I've seen this happen. This is not a level playing field for Caymanians because we have a non-Cayman law person preparing these documents when they could have been prepared by a lawyer at a law firm branch overseas or a law firm within the Cayman Islands. So it's taking work away from people here who could have been doing the work. Another restriction is in relation to the way the firms are established. So for example, if you're a sole practitioner, you must be a Caymanian as a sole practitioner. However, if you're a partnership, you are required to have at least one Caymanian partner. The issue with this is, if we look at total numbers, if we have 500 persons in a law firm, but the law says we must have at least one Caymanian, it's very possible the level playing field is not created because the firm may decide to hire 499 foreign persons as lawyers and one Caymanian. Whereas there are many more qualified Caymanians who are willing and able to take the position. My suggestion is to break this down into tiers. So tier one, for example, if you have a law firm that has five or less lawyers, we could say at least one of those lawyers must be Caymanian and must be a profit sharing partner. When we look at the other tier, tier two, we could say if you have six 
to 10 attorneys on your staff. Then we say, at least three of these lawyers must be Caymanian and profit sharing partners. When we get to the higher tiers, where we have law firms with over 20 lawyers, we could then say at least one third of those lawyers must be Caymanian and also profit sharing partners. If we don't have these provisions in place, we will not have a level playing field because firms will have no incentive to hire Caymanians or train Caymanians or promote them. It's a compromise I think that can be made on both sides as a step forward to leveling the playing field. It will be interesting to see if our legislators will consider fines for those attorneys who are currently practicing Cayman Islands law outside the Cayman Islands without a legal practice certificate.